This is the fourth segment of Matchbot training uh, using the Borg Warner Matchbot tool uh, on the website. Uh, we're looking at the 7670 match, which was the largest of the three turbos that we just uh, finished exploring for our uh, two liter engine running 17 pounds of boost. Um, I want to touch on a few things in this segment. Uh, the first is use of a divided turbine housing. Uh, twin scroll um, and what kind of effect uh, that has. So um, the easiest uh, way to approach this is to um, think of the uh, pressure uh, amplification that the turbine wheel sees with the divided housing and uh, what that does is it, it has uh, the effect of greater turbine efficiency. Um, to simulate that uh, I usually put in about a 15, 10 to 15 percent uh, efficiency bump at the low engine speeds. Uh, so in this match we're going to look at this uh, 2000 RPM point and I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit at 3000 and a little bit at uh, 4000. Uh, so uh, let's, I'm going to put in a uh, full 15 percent at uh, point number one which is uh, going to raise it from 75% to 90%. I'm going to put in uh, 10 points at 3000 RPM, which is going to raise it from 73 to 83. Then I'm going to put in 5 points at 4000 RPM, uh, which is going to raise it from 72 to 77. So the effect is uh, more away skating, um, which really allows us to go larger uh, on turbine and achieve the same boost curve. We can uh, make some adjustments to uh, open back up the turbine. Uh, in reality, this is no longer uh, on the curve so we can uh, achieve a higher boost level. I'm going to strive for uh, 4 PSI. Oh, that's a little bit too much. about right. And uh, I'm going to tune these points up to a larger uh, fee. Uh, we're dealing with the 70 millimeter wheel, so I'm going to go to a point 0.92, um, which is a uh, twin scroll wastegated housing. So I'm moving uh, point 0.6 uh, up to that curve. Now point 0.5 up to that curve. Point four, point three, point two, and uh, of course point one. So uh, what we've seen here is uh, we put in an efficiency modification of uh, fifteen percent at the very low end, ten percent at three thousand, five percent at four thousand. We were able to go larger uh, on turbine housing and achieve the same bo boost curve. In fact, we were able to get uh, more low-end boost going from 2.7 psi at point 0.1 up to 4 psi uh, at, uh, at, at point 0.1. Also a little bit less waste gating at, at point 0.2, 3000 RPM. So the effect of this is uh, shown here in engine delta P going to that larger turbine housing we're now at uh, zero uh, delta P at the top end. That means uh, it's requiring around 17 psi of exhaust manifold pressure to make 17 pounds of boost. And like we went through in the last segment, um, this is uh, a good thing. The next thing um, I wanted to touch on in this segment is the uh, wheel speed calculator. Uh, this is the only uh, 
tab that we haven't uh, really looked at yet uh, in these tutorials. Um, looking at these uh, turbo um, operating condition points on the compressor map, uh, let's try to find out uh, what kind of speeds uh, we're going to be running at point six, the rated, uh, the top end condition. Um, this speed line is 315 meters per second. Uh, this speed line is 413 meters per second. So I'm going to guess that point six is uh, about oh, 380 meters per second, just kind of uh, interpolating between those two lines. So we can open the wheel speed calculator. Uh, we can use any or all uh, of these six things. Um, I'm going to put in uh, 380 um, in this uh, first box here. And our uh, wheel diameter is 76 millimeters. So I'm going to put that into uh, this box here. So we run the calculation and 380 uh, meters per second on a 76 millimeter wheel is 95,000 uh, RPM. So this is just a real simple calculator. Uh, if you buy the optional BorgWarner speed sensor and equip your turbo with that, uh, you can compare measured speeds to mapped speeds and uh, do a little bit more uh, learning there. Uh, you can also work backwards. Um, if you know a rotational speed, uh, say for example, uh, this is, uh, let's say we measure um, 85,000 RPM on our speed sensor. We can type in 85,000 there, and uh, let's say we still have this same uh, 76 millimeter uh, compressor wheel. 76, and working backwards, uh, that is... three hundred and thirty eight meters per second so three hundred and thirty eight uh, meters per second eighty five thousand rpm would be uh, somewhere uh, down in this region on the compressor map one last thing to show um, on uh, this tutorial is the ability to save your work and email your work to other people um, you can see that uh, there's a copy and paste box up here um, this shows a URL that is uh, the current match with all of your input data. We can uh, select uh, that text and I'm going to do a control C uh, to copy that. You can then uh, go to um, whatever you want to, whether it's uh, a Facebook uh, page or an email page or a Word document, whatever. Uh, you can then paste uh, that link and right here there's a very long uh, URL that has all of the in engine input data uh, in it. So if you were to email this to someone else they could uh, for example select that control C to copy uh, go to a new uh, browser uh, window and you can paste that in the top line and uh, then it will load um, that web page 